Welcome back to the Data Science with MATLAB video series. In this video, we'll focus on analyzing the data in several different ways. So in any data science application, there are lots of analyses that you might want to do. I will just talk about a couple of common ones um, that we'll use for this example. Um, and that's performing calculations, doing analysis by group, and um, also doing some change point detection and um, figuring out some of the seasonality like we saw with the weather data. There are lots of ways to do calculations by group. You already saw some visualizations that uh, were splitting up the data by group and uh, doing some calculations. Like, so we had the mean damage costs, you know, in our um, heat map. But so if we actually want to get the values, we can use group summary. And so in this case, I want to get the um, mean and standard deviation of the damage based on the weather data. So we're going to do some similar analysis for our weather data. We have data um, sampled on the minute, and so we want to uh, do some calculations uh, based on group, and we can actually use the time. So we can pull out the uh, name of the day, so you know the um, average temperature and humidity uh, based on each day, and the average temperature and humidity based on each hour of day. And so you know it's very convenient to be able to do that uh, just in one function. And then if I look, you know, sure enough, there are some patterns, uh, you know depending on the time of day. And so um, previously we smoothed our data, but we also might want to see uh, the change points or you know, the local min, local max. These might be really important to our analysis. And so if you um, look at a previous plot of our data, uh, you can see it's you know, very noisy. There's some up and down. But these changes might be really important. You know, where did, when did the temperature start going up? When did it really drop? You know, that might be really informative uh, for our uh, weather event calculations. And so we can use functions like is local min, is local max to detect exactly what it sounds like, uh, local min and local max. And so some of these are actually, you know, might not be um, that informative. You know, they might be detecting the noise. And so um, we can actually adjust the threshold. You know, so if we don't want to detect every little change, we can um, make a bigger threshold and uh, detect them that way. And so here on the plot, you can see, you know, these are all of the change points and through that entire uh, data range. And so there are many, many types of analysis that you might want to do. These are just the sort of basic ones um, that we'll walk through. And there's much more in the documentation, um, and you can see that here. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll look at visualizing our data.